Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to explain how to write formulas for a special class of substances called acids. Let's first review what acids are. These are a special type, a special class of covalent compound that typically contain the element hydrogen. So you can always spot an acid if its formula looks like this, HCl, H2CO3, HNO2. If you see that hydrogen written first, there's a good chance you're looking at the formula for an acid. This video is not going to go over the rules for naming acids, but we do need to know the rules for naming acids because really we're just going to be working through these rules backwards. So I'm going to keep those at the top of the screen along with a list of polyatomic ions as we look at writing formulas for acids. The good news is that there's really no special rules here. You just have to work backwards through those acid naming rules. The only kind of weird thing to be aware of is that when you're writing the formula for an acid, you're going to add in multiple quantities of ions to keep the charges balanced. So the positive charges have to balance out the negative charges, just like if you were doing this for an ionic substance. And I'm going to go through two examples now to show you exactly what I mean with all of this. Let's take a look at writing the formula for arsenic acid. The first piece of the puzzle is the easiest, and that is because we know it's an acid based on the word acid at the end of the name, you can start off by writing a hydrogen. That's going to be the case for any acid formula that you have to write. The really tricky part is figuring out the rest of that formula. What is it that is paired up with this hydrogen? And this is where the acid naming rules come into play. Notice the template or the format that this acid's name uses is ic acid. So if you come up here to the three possible acid naming rules, you'll see that ic acid is this middle one. And then you'd have to know that when the acid is called ic acid, that means the ion that is paired with hydrogen ends in eight. So I don't know what the ion is yet, but I do know that its name ends in eight. And based on the root word, A-R-S-E-N, that's in the acid name, I can plug that root word back in here to see that the thing that is paired with hydrogen, the ion paired with hydrogen, must be called arsenate. And while you may not know what that is, at least you now know what it's called. So you can go to a list of polyatomic ions and look it up. There's arsenate right there, ASO4, ASO4. So that's what I mean by using the acid naming rules backwards to figure out the type of ion that is with your hydrogen. We're not quite done yet though, because like our key idea says, we've got to keep the charges balanced. And right now, hydrogen with a plus one charge versus arsenate with a minus three charge does not have a balanced charge. I'm going to actually need two more hydrogens for a total of three, which means the formula for arsenic acid would have to be H3ASO4. Let's do it again with hydrosulfuric acid. Uh, notice the acid, well, I guess first we should start by writing hydrogen because any acid is going to begin with hydrogen. Uh, next up is the type of acid name I've got here is the hydroic acid template. So that's our first one on the list, hydroic acid. And that tells me that the ion paired with hydrogen has to end in ide, I-D-E. The root word, sulf, tells me specifically which type of ide that is. I'm looking here at sulfide. Remember, you're not going to use your polyatomic ions list because ide indicates that it's just a monatomic ion, a single atom, in this case, a single atom of sulfur. So I've got hydrogen bonded to sulfur. To check that the charges are balanced, we'll test out an H with a plus one and a sulfide, which actually has a minus two charge. So here these are not balanced. I would need to add a second hydrogen making the final formula H2S. So that's one of the key ideas for this video. Make sure to pause, take some time and write that down. It also wraps it up for this video on writing formulas for acids. Thanks a lot for watching and here is a brief summary.